All right, man. TJ Hawkinson price probably just went up because David and Joko got paid um, a whole bunch of money. David and Joko to Cleveland Browns. He got a lot of hype um, coming out of, uh, I think it was Miami, came out of um, athletic tight end. Uh, I didn't think he was going to, I didn't think he was going to stick around in Cleveland. He's from Jersey. Uh, I want to say he went to Miami. I don't know why my head he went. I thought, yeah, he went to school in Miami. First round pick, 29th pick in the 2017 draft uh, for fun. I want to know who the Lions picked in that draft. They picked Jared Davis in that draft. All right. Remember, I think it was, that's a draft with, uh, yeah, uh, Evan Ingram, uh, TJ Watt. Uh, O.J. Howard. Remember a lot of Lions fans wanted O.J. Howard? Anybody remember that? A lot of Lions fans was begging for a tight end. <laughs> they was begging for O.J. Howard, I swear. And I was like, no, nah, O.J. Howard, he just ain't panned out, even with the gold over there in, uh, in Tampa. People was begging for O.J. Howard, but uh, o- David and Joko, you look at the stats, it ain't nowhere near probably Hawkinson, but he's a good football player for sure. Athletic, I mean, you love the potential. Um, yeah, you love the potential, man. You're only 25 years old, be 26 in July 10th, so um, 6'4, 246. He uh had 16 games last year, 36 receptions, 475 yards, four touchdowns. Um, his high is 56 receptions in the second year, 639 yards, four TDs. So he had four TDs three times in his career. His rookie year, his second year, and his last year, which was his fifth year. So, um, so he's been productive. He played 16 games three times his career, which was 17 last year. <laughs> in 2020, he played 13. And in 2020, 2019, when it was low, he played four and started one. So, yeah, you, you, I think that, that contract is based off of potential. But it says, what David and Joko's new contract mean for TJ Hawkins and Detroit Lions are likely planning to offer – Tight end T.J. Hawks in a new long-term contract. Yeah, before the deadline hit in, uh, well, they already extended them to a fifth-year option, so it's too late for that. Cleveland Browns have made tight end David and Joko among the highest paid as a position agreeing to terms for four-year, fifty-six million dollar over fifty-six million dollar contract. Twenty-five-year-old tight end set to receive twenty-eight million in guaranteed money, according to his agent. And Joko recorded one hundred forty-eight receptions in five seasons. In twenty twenty-one, he secured thirty-six receptions, four hundred seventy-five, and four touchdowns. So looking at TJ Hawkinson, Thomas James Hawkinson, I believe his name stands for. Uh, compared to those numbers, he only played 12 games last year, 61 receptions, 583 yards, and four TDs. Um, he also did have his second year, 101 targets, 67 receptions, 723 yards, six TDs. So, you know, he's been he ain't been in the league as long as Joko, but he's been more productive. Um so far, Hawkinson is 24 years old, is a player the Lions coaching staff front office wants to secure for the future. He finished 2021 season with 61 catches, finally three yards, four touchdowns in 12 games. The team decided to pick up his fifth year option worth 9.4 million in 2023, but is likely to st- still working to secure the former first round pick to a long term contract. Quote, Hawkinson, obviously, he's a big part of what we did last year, General Manager Brad Holmes said at the owners meeting. Quote, it was unfortunate when it became unavailable for us, but He's another player that we will will continue to lean on this year. Uh, he said he underwent season in the thumb surgery following the Lions' first victory of the season in the Minnesota Vikings. Quote, obviously that's not how you want to quote, how you want to end the season at any point in your career. Now, I've had two of them with my ankle, and now uh, this, Hawkins has said, quote, it's not something that you want to endure, that you want to, uh, <clears throat> that you want to go through, but obviously I would have loved to finish the season with the guys and the coaching staff and everybody, but – that's how it goes sometimes. So yeah, he kind of been like uh injured, but I mean it is it ain't been like seriously, you know what I'm saying? And Joko's contract is likely very close to being the starting point uh that Hawkins and his representative will be seeking a hammer out a new deal, keeping him around for the foreseeable suit future. Hawkins is scheduled to attend Titan University's kind of group where the Titans get together and share information on how they all can get better. So um it was created by George Kittle, Travis Kelsey, the summit is intended for top players at the position. But they share ideas and get better. So, um, at the end of the day, bro, his injury kind of been like kind of fluky for me. Um, the, the thumb injury. I mean, they did lean on him a lot last year. I think he had 
84 receptions, probably would have ended with a career high targets, excuse me, right ended with a career high. He definitely would have had more receptions uh, there. But like I said before, uh, you know, I think you keep him around. Uh, I think you keep him around, but you got to ask yourself at what point, at what price point, how you structure the contract and that. But yeah, I think he, he meant to stay around. I think, uh, you know, they got to start being more creative than how to use him at tight end. They haven't been creative enough, in my opinion, bro. They have not been creative enough in how um, they've been using the guy. So he don't really work the seams. He don't really work the wheel. He don't move around for matchups. In all the years of Detroit Lions, uh, in all the years of Detroit Lions, bro, you know, draft tight ends, they never use him creative. You see Eric Ebron, he go to Indianapolis, they use him to his strengths. He becomes a vertical threat with, you know, posts, corner posts, uh, you know, uh, flag flag routes, whatever you're going to call it, corner to the post. I mean, he's been, you know, running deep outs, you know, running nines, not vertical seams and all types of stuff. And the Lions just tr- try to use their tight ends all the same way. Get creative, bunch them up, line them up in the backfield, put them out there, split them wide, put them in the slot, bunch them up. But they get free releases. They just don't never utilize them to their strength. They utilize them all the same way. They run that little flare to the flats. You know, they might run a little in. Get them going vertical. That's my problem. Get them going vertically. And that's something that they just did. They never, like, really did. Every now and again, you will see a... Uh, you will see a... Uh, they use TJ Hawkins vertically, but you got to, you know, look at what New, uh, New England done with their tight ends. You know, look how they, you know, they targeted them. You know, they 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 get them in space. They get them in one-on-one matchups. That's my thing. They get them in one-on-one matchups. You know, and the Lions just ain't been creative enough with their tight ends. You think they got a coach, you got a head coach that's a tight end, you think they'd be they'd be more creative, but they still ain't been more creative. Well, that's my only thing about it. They gotta find a way more creative ways to get them the ball where you can be successful, get them in space, you know, all types of stuff. But hey, let me know what you girls and guys think. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Make sure subscribe button, it's the bell icon button, hit all notifications, increase the chance to get notifications. We go live and drop a video. Financially, you want to support the channel, Cash App, Dollar Sign, CJ Good 313, Venmo, CJ Good 313, PayPal link in the description. Appreciate the love and support. Let me know what you girls and guys think in the comment section. Check out Detroit Lions Talk playlist for more videos like this. Uh, other than that, man, find me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. We got business questions, quiet response, video quests, all the links in the description. One time for the one.